Justin Marks, number 17, uh, right midfielder. So I guess you guys had a big game yesterday up in the York region. Can yeah, you tell me a little bit about it? Yeah, yes, it was a big game. It was the first playoff game in uh, 40 years of uh, franchise history. Um, getting the win, we're buzzing with excitement. Um, Fast-paced game, back and forth. Um, some of us, you know, it's the biggest game of our careers. Uh, even just playing like the first first playoff game for London City, uh, you had these nerves and you just had to overcome them. And to get the result was just, you know, I'm, I'm shaking just talking about it right now. How were the uh, players uh, before the game, before the uh, 8 o'clock kickoff in Toronto? Well, we, uh, we struggled a bit because of traffic, because of Thanksgiving weekend. Um, a bunch of us didn't get there before 10 minutes before kickoff. So uh, we sat behind the ball for the first 20 minutes, just trying to, you know, get our, get, our, get the feel for the game and just try to get warmed up. But you could tell, like, everybody was ready to go. Um, you know, everyone, whether it was just putting your music in before, like, in the car, just getting, trying to get ready, try to get the mentality mentality uh, going, um, but everybody played amazing yesterday. There was I not know, one person that played bad. I know there was a penalty that was called against you guys. I believe was in the extra time. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, I was on the. I was playing right, right back, and the guy, their right back at the time was uh, was just coming in, doing an overlapping run, and supposedly got caught by Roberto Maboko and the referee called it and uh, from where I was it seemed like he dove and uh, he, um, the guy stepped up and he, Lotto made a huge save to save us and then uh, it was just game changing after that. Do you think that uh, penalty shot saved brought your spirit up in the game? Absolutely. You know we were just we were buzzing with excitement just after that save because we don't think that it was a penalty shot. You know, he obviously thinks it was, and we don't think it was. But, uh, you know, I, I think it would have been different if, if he would have scored that because we would have sat back a bit. We would have been down. But he saved it, and we got the, we got the win. I know a couple minutes later, I know you guys scored, I think, was in the 110 minutes of extra time. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about that play, how the goal came about? Uh, we, just, we, we, just took a, we just took a shot. Um, and the goalie just, you know, punted the ball up the, up the pitch. Um, I brought it down, and I played it to Genty, and I believe Genty played it to Madden, and then Madden played a ball into the box to uh, Kuka, and Kuka just put it in, and we just, we went mental. Like, we just, we took his shirt off, and we were just going crazy. Saw the bench pretty hype after that uh, goal? Absolutely. I think I saw, you know, Tomo jumping in the air, Yaz jumping in the air. I believe, was, Justin, this is your first year playing for Lion City? Uh, technically, it's my third. I played two years under Ryan Doss. Okay. And then last year, I played in uh, I played in Holland. So Where in Holland did you play? I played in uh, an hour from Amsterdam. I played in Sertogenbosch, Den Bosch. So, what made you uh, come back to uh, London City? You know, it's you have offers in Europe and stuff like that, but you're trying to you're trying to make your money, and I just didn't have the right offer at the time. And uh, Yaz and uh, Zoran, they came to me. Um, they, they wanted me to play, and uh, I like playing for London. You know, I was born here. Um, I love to play for London City, and it's just, you know, it's an honor putting on the jersey just to play for your city. So I guess uh, yesterday's uh, playing goal didn't make you that happy in the 110, Absolutely. 19 minute, I mean? Absolutely. I was so happy. Like, past past few weeks um, have been really hard. You know, my, my grandma passed away last week, and... Uh, you know, just thinking about like, you know, I loved her a lot, and uh, just just winning in general made me forget about those struggles that I've had for the past three weeks. So, would you say that yesterday's game was a big uh, gift to her? Absolutely. You know, just for my family in general, because you know we we've, we've been struggling a bit with the passing of her, and uh, I'm just happy we got the win. My condolences go out, go out to you for your grandma dying, but uh, you. can you tell us a little bit about the Italian goal? The tying goal? Yes. Uh, just thinking about it, it's a bit a bit blurry, but the goal was it was world class. It was a world class finish. Um, the ball got played out in the air, about maybe 22 yards out on the right hand side, and the guy just came out of nowhere and struck it with his left foot volley and put it top corner. Like it was a perfect goal. Like if I could watch it again, I would. Now I know the game went to penalty shots. Could you describe a little bit of 
both sides of the uh, penalty shots? Who made your, your guys' goal and uh, who missed for them and how were they? Uh... We shot first and it was uh, Madden scored and then uh, we were buzzing to get the, the early lead and uh, then York Region shot, they missed, Blotto saved it and then it was uh, Tonchi scored again buzzing again with excitement then uh, they scored and then Raza stepped up, scored and uh, I believe they scored again and then we scored to win it which was Yonan and we were just we went crazy like people were just running all over the place Tomo was in there, Yaz was in there, Kathleen was in there everyone was just we went, we went mental How did it feel to you and the local guys that it was a local guy that scored that winning goal? You know some a guy like Yonan that's been part yeah. of the club for the longest time. So that's a veteran for years now, and now it's the uh, basically the uh, B division coach. How do you feel that somebody local scored a goal for you guys? I think it does it justice. Like Yonan's my best mate, like my best friend, and just to see him put it, put it, you know, to win the game um, makes it that much sweeter. Just because he's been with the club for four years now, I believe. And you know, Yonan's been all over the world playing, you know, and Yonan's one of the best best players in the city of London, hands down, I think. And uh, for him to do it, like I had, I had no doubt that he was going to score. Like he was, he was going to score. Like I knew it right then and there. And uh, I sort of knew where he was going to. I knew where he was going to go too. So, did you, did you pick a spot where he was going to go? I knew he was going to go. Like me and Yonan, we we played together in Holland. We lived together. Um, we sort of know what each other's thinking, so um, I knew he was going to go to the left-hand side, and he went to the left, and we won. Is there anything that you can uh, describe throughout the whole entire season? What made you guys come to the playoffs this year? It was, I think it was a group, like being being a group. You know, I think last year and the years before that, you had segregation between national like cultures, and. You know, the Europeans, they, they, they brought us in. They brought me, Yonan, Adam, Genti, and even the B players, you know. They taught us things and stuff like that, how football should be played. And uh, we have this, this cohesiveness together. Like, it, there's no segregation. Everyone's one group. And I think that's a big part of it, is being, being a family. And that's what we are. If you are to give uh, a message about something about the club to the city of London and surrounding area, what would that be? You know, if you, if you want to watch like attractive football, you want to watch you know top European European players that played with like Samuel Eto'o, Ibrahimovic. Um, it'd be to come to watch London City. You're gonna be watching nice football. Um, you're gonna be seeing a lot of good goals, and the atmosphere is is there. You know, it's it's the top football in the city. Are you in, are you coming back to London City next year or? That's the plan. Yeah. The plan That's the plan. Thanks yeah. for the interview, Justin. No problem.